So you attend the 27th Eurasian Economic Summit organized by Marmara Group Foundation. Can you share your thoughts about the summit? Well, this is my first time here and I'm very pleased to be here and grateful for the organization of Marmara Foundation and, you know, to be a guest speaker as well. It is my honor and my pleasure and I will be a guest speaker in one of the plenary sessions, I think, right th after this one. And I will be talking about the energy crisis, the climate crisis, communication, coordination. And this is a great event and it seems to be growing from year to year and it's starting to get even more important than it was previous years and I think the, the Turkish organization in general was great and I would feel that they will probably welcome our delegation for Bosnia and Herzegovina again next year and some of the important issues that will be discussed here today probably will reach out a global audience which is a good thing and I hope that also as a university professor as a minister of education and science I will send out a message from here today that we need to unite and we need to work on tightening our labor market. We need to found, so find solutions that will help resolve the energy crisis that we have, climate crisis that we have. And, you know, unless we do, do not unite, I think the world will go in a, in a bad place. So we need to work together. We need to collaborate. We need to uh, cooperate and communicate with one another with more openness, more tolerance towards one another. And this is something that we actually do see here today and tomorrow. I'm sure that all of these countries from around the world will participate and and share the the common message that we need to unite once for all and you know stop the wars work on our uh, resource resources that we have sustainability that we have mobility how our students also are you know uh, people in business and simply open up our labor markets to the general public and you know unite internationally